శిష్యులతో ప్రసంగించారు ఈరోజు మనం దీవించబడినాము అంతర్దృష్టి కలిగిన ఉపన్యాసములలో ఒకటైన స్వర్గం త్వరలో వస్తుంది మనము అనుకున్న దానికన్నా ముందుగా అనే పేరు గల పార్ట్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ గురువు మరియు శిష్యుల మధ్య ఇంగ్లీషులో ఏప్రిల్ మూడు టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వెల్వ్న ఫ్రాన్స్లో ఇచ్చిన ఉపన్యాసాన్ని ప్రదర్శిస్తున్నాము Any other ideas? Any others there? I've just got another good news. For, yeah. Um, in Spain, there's a, su- a chain of supermarkets called Al Campo. And just before Christmas, they opened a huge deli section mm. of vegan, well, mostly vegetarian, unfortunately, but there is vegan also. Yes. Of absolutely everything, cheeses, sausages, burgers. And this is unusual for Spain, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. And, and it's a huge section. It's not just like... one and uh, one corner and it's six shelves and it goes all the length of that curtain oh. rail oh really it's, it's huge and oh. it's really encouraging to see that in spain oh wonderful yeah yeah people are getting better more yeah. smart are smarter now mm. very good more good news hello master i would like to share uh, about several good news from china um because of the uh, consciousness elevation We, we do see a lot of trends going up in China and uh, even in the field of uh, animal protection. Mm. Uh, two stories. One, you know, it, it happened last year. Uh, the animal uh, protection volunteers, they tried to stop the cars transporting dogs and they successfully uh, rescued, oh. rescued all the dogs. In Beijing alone, they rescued over 700 wow. dogs in one go. Wow. And it becomes a popular event in China. Yeah, I heard in that. In Chongqing, another city uh, in around Sichuan area, and they have another very similar event where people stopped uh, and rescued over 1,000 dogs. Phew, my God. So it's become very popular and also in the internet. One of the leading organizations in China that produces the um, bear bile uh, for traditional Chinese medicine, yes. they tried to go public for two times, but failed because of the protection from the animal shelter, NGOs, mm. and even one of the animal found organized by some famous uh, journalists from the central television yeah. uh, of China, they organized Uh, they tried to collect, uh, in very short time, uh, 72 signatures from all the famous people, oh. from all walks of life. Mm. And they deliver the letter officially to the Stock Exchange Committee mm-hmm. of China trying to stop the yeah. uh, IPO of uh-huh. that organization. Because they have- plan to expand the production from 400 moon bears now to over 1,200. If, if this... If it's approved? Yes. And uh, is it approved? No, because of the protection from the animal uh, NGOs and people on the internet, they failed. The, the government disapproved. Aha, uh-huh. good, good. Last the year. producer of these uh, buy, huh? Yes. Uh, wonderful. And, and this year they tried to go uh, public again, uh-huh. and even we see bigger protests. Oh. from the NGOs and on the internet and all the uh, people from all walks of life. Wonderful. And even the central television in China, they organize uh, very large-scale disputes Wonderful. several times. Yeah, yeah. So we, we do see the, the trend and we, you know, uh, for many years we don't see uh, the animal protection law in China, but mm-hmm. I, I personally do see the, the, uh, the hope. Mm-hmm. There's yes, serious yes. hope now. Yes. Maybe they will have it soon. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Master, I have heard one disciple say that uh, she saw that during the world meditation hours, the whole planet, the Earth planet, uh, just light, kind of just like uh, you turn on the light. Uh-huh. And then, then uh, when it ends, then the light gradually goes down. And then when the next meditation hour, it you go comes, up again. Yeah, right. <laughs> and my question, uh, Master, you told us about Um, the uh, peak meditation hour and the uh, merits you meditate in the um, spiritual spirit bracing line or the uh, heaven portal. And my question is, um, does meditating during the world meditation hour has any 
extra merits or blessing? For whom? For you? Uh, I mean, for everyone. Of course, if you mer you meditate, you always have merit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any more? Here. Hi, Master. Um, in Vancouver, we opened a loving hut food cart, and it's uh, it's only five months old now, but it's it's doing really really well. Oh, I'm glad for you. It's You're the owner. Director. Oh, okay. In? It's in a it's in a very rich area, uh -huh. and uh, it's it's amazing to see the response. We don't like really like broadcast that it's vegan, mm -hmm. but um, you know we can get almost everybody to at least try it. Uh -huh. You know, even if they find out it's vegan, we'll say you know. How how did uh, you do that? We'll give it to them free if they uh -huh. don't like it. Uh -huh. I see. Yeah. If they don't like it, it's free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So everybody go there eat and just say I don't like. No, nobody. <laughs> then don't ever, need to pay. Nobody has ever ever gotten their money back. No. Okay, I understand. <laughs> That's risky, yeah. And, and they come back and they're like, "Wow, you got us." It's, yeah. Uh, it's really really good. Lovely, lovely to hear. Congratulations. Lots of miracles have happened with that cart. Uh, the very first day that we opened, it was um, it was a, a veggie festival going on. And we were so busy that we actually had to close, and uh, because we were just overwhelmed, <laughs> and we didn't want to like uh, have anybody to have a bad experience, mm -hmm. so we closed. And then we got our, ourselves together mentally, and then we're like, okay, let's try again. Mm -hmm. And we opened, and like two minutes later, um, a guy looked at me, and he's like, he's with his family, said, "You're using our product," and I'm like, uh, "Which one is yours?" He's like, "Gardein. I'm I'm the owner of Gardein." Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and Guardian is an amazing, amazing company. And it's oh, great. really? Yeah. In, in Canada? It's based in Vancouver, but it's huge in North America. Wow. Um, it's been fe featured on the Oprah Winfrey show and the Ellen show. And, um, uh -huh. and he's, this guy is like a mad genius. And uh, he, he looked at me and said, what can I do for you? Wow. Yeah. And so I asked him, I said, I'd love to be able to buy from you directly. And he's like, done. Yeah. He's like, we'll give you a cheap price. Oh, wow. Yeah, very beautiful. They invited us to their factory. They took us through like a, um, a, a tour. And yeah, VIP tour. Mm. All their marketing people, he like sent them to our car, said, what can we do for you? They wanted to put some like signage, help us to buy signs and stuff uh -huh. like that. We, wow. did, we didn't accept that. Yet. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, wonderful, wonderful. I'll uh, just do whatever good, okay? Yes. Uh, what do you mean you don't accept what? Um, they wanted to, because we don't have like, we didn't have proper signs on the back of the cart. Uh -huh. um, so they wanted to pay for that for uh -huh. us. You know, Why not? Just to help us. And uh, I don't know, I didn't want to like accept their... their uh, then you can pay a little bit. Or, well, they, they want it also for their own product. It's not like... Uh, they give you uh, something to eat or some money in your pocket, nothing. Right, right. That's a fair deal, you know? Okay. Because the more people buy from you, the more you buy from them. Yep. So it's just like an indirect uh, uh, business advertisement for them as well. Cooperation. So blue, accept it. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You didn't try to abuse them or anything, understand? And they volunteer, and that's also good for their business, understand? Cause they come to you, and then you also they also ask where did you buy this, buy that. You say, oh yeah, I buy it from Guardian, yeah. for example. You see? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, it's good. good company. Yeah. Uh, tell them we we will work with them. It's very good. Mm. You see, I don't know. Uh, some people just have a very positive spirit. You know, when I look at you, I feel that you're very positive anyway. So the things it's just positive. You know, things come to you like that. And some people are just so miserable, no matter how hard they try. <laughs> it's not much going on. Yeah, it's, it's very important to have Brian Scheidt people in the restaurant as a manager or as even waiter, waitress. You have to be positive in your heart also. Of course, Mary, we don't have positive, <laughs> that bright people, so we just use other people. But I can see the difference. I just don't say anything only, but I see the difference why one restaurant is more successful and one is not. It's not only location. Thank you, Master. Oh, great. Thank mm? you. Good. That's why you get fat for just... <laughs>
<laughs> Just make a good example, huh? Look at me, huh? Vegan, look at that, all the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple of us in the cart. It's yeah. funny because there's three guys and we're kind of, you know, early. Three, three men? Yeah, three guys. Working in the same restaurant? Yeah. Who cooks? Hey, yeah. yeah. My wife designed the menu. Uh huh, uh huh. I saw three of you. Yeah. You, your wife, and him. No, another me, guy? him, and another guy, young guy. Ah, oh, okay, okay. He's the son of a contact person. Uh huh, okay. Congratulations. Get going, keep going, okay? We're three friends. Uh, they live nearby each other. Huh? One is a uh, Waterian, one is a uh, Raw foodist, and one is a breatharian. You know, right? Like the raw foodist, they just eat raw. Mm. And the waterian, they just drink water. Mm. And the breatharian, they just eat the breath. <laughs> Not the bread, uh, the breath. <laughs> okay. And then uh, one day they decided to have a party together, you know, a birthday party. <laughs> So they decide who is going to to host the party, you know. So the the raw food they say, okay, I do it. My house is bigger, yeah. And then uh, I cook also. <laughs> 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 and the waterians say, no nonsense, I cook. <laughs> <laughs> and the breatharians say, since it's my birthday, I cook. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see the three of them get together and make a party and if you still like Chinese food stay away because <laughs> you have nothing to eat there. <laughs> Other people who doesn't like open restaurant can open grocery, we said already. Oh what was it before just now? Well oh, yeah Delhi. Not butcher. <laughs> the war butcher is already very bad. Okay. Uh, Delhi, huh? Vegan Delhi, huh? Did they say vegan outside or anything? I, I haven't actually seen pictures of the shops last time, so, mm -hmm. so they've grown so fast they can uh -huh. open them quickly enough. Ah, okay, okay. Um, let's follow Holland's uh, example. My, what a blessed country. So wonderful. Oh. Wow, I'm so happy to hear all this, you know, and uh, Holland is one of the... VIP country in Europe, you know, and they're peaceful and they're smart people. They say, God make the world, but uh, <laughs> the Dutch make Holland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have to constantly think of what to do to keep the water out of their country. And they are very smart people. They invented many uh, beautiful and wonderful um, new, uh, you know, machine and stuff. Very good. And their bank is one of the top banks of the world even. They're strong, smart people, and now they go vegan. Oh, wonderful people. My God, I do love their queens and consorts and the governments and the people of Holland. Bless them. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, they have taste, you know, the Holland people. They have good taste. Any from Holland? No? Hmm. How come? <laughs> uh, last time uh, they, they left, I think some have left already. Why did they, they didn't tell me this? Why you need a British citizen to tell me about Holland <laughs> vegan trend? <laughs> there have been some Hollander before here. Probably too shy, huh? Yes. Okay. Any other new idea? Ah, that's wonderful. Now you're spoiled with choice, yeah? And not only you can open a vegan restaurant, loving hurt, you can open loving grocery, loving bocho, no, no, <laughs> <laughs> loving deli. <laughs> oh, vegan ice cream shop as well. Yeah, also, yes, yes, ice cream shop, vegan cafe, yeah, and vegan snacks, yes, yes, or vegan, uh, you know, car that go in the flea market. Oh, that will make a lot of money because I saw people come and eat them. Uh, flea market, always uh, people like it because of the atmosphere, you know? And then they go there, they got hungry, so you offer them vegan hot dog and, and, and vegan beer, yeah? And other vegan stuff, vegan tea, or vegan coffee. Oh, that's a wonderful paradise. I can see maybe a paradise coming sooner than we think, yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, 
you know, in the beginning, when I first meditated for the world and asked every one of you and outside people to meditate for world vegan, world peace, so that the atmosphere of the world we change and that we can save the planet. I didn't even tell them save the planet, nothing, but it's just indirect, you know. If a world have vegan and the world have peace, then of course we can save the planet. In the beginning, it was very difficult, struggle, and I could not even extend one day. And now, after we extend it to a certain degree, now it goes so fast, so fast. Remember I told you 22 years and, and, and four months? And just a few days later, 41 years and a half. And today, just one, two days after, oh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> It's go faster now, you know. Just well, just uh, some more. Yeah? <laughs> Fifty-two. Yeah. And it will go faster and faster. It will go to centuries and thousand years and ah. I have to keep myself alive, eh? Yes. Alive. And you keep yourself alive, eh? Yes. Continue deep meditation, eh? In in this direction. In this uh, motive. Yeah, I have to be sincere. Yeah, so we're going to live for a little while longer, so don't hesitate to open vegan deli, vegan cafe, vegan flea market car, yeah, and uh, vegan tea party, you know, sometimes invite your neighbors. If you cannot open, just invite neighbors. Hmm? Have a community also, so people are lonely, not too lonely anymore, at least, okay? Just offer them unconditionally free of charge. Yeah. Actually, Master, if you want to do market flea markets, you don't even have to have a cart. You can buy like a little um, canopy tent and you can set up the table and have a gas equipment yes. in there. They allow that and it's a lot. Yeah, cheaper. but you need the cart to move your stuff there. No, well, you just have a van. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Yeah, it's, same. It's, well, you need a van. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. And then you, you can either open the van out or open extra with the canopy with a few chairs. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and it's all oh, wonderful. I love this kind of atmosphere. I love flea market so much. Whenever I see one, I always run there and just buy any nonsense things. <laughs> you know, vegetable and anything, they're so happy to sell to you. I told you already, I bought it from, you know, the turnip that they don't even sell in supermarket, but they sell in the flea market. Oh, I was so happy to buy him and then he gave me one or two for free even, remember? Yeah. We should go to flea market also to help small farmers, eh? And small produce, yeah? Help them thrive, yes. I, sometimes I go there, I just buy anything just to help them, help them out, you know, make them happy. And something, it doesn't have to be expensive, you know, a little towel, a little underwear, something, uh, some bread, you know, or some vegetable, uh, a few tomatoes here and go over there buy the a cucumber and go over there <laughs> just to make them happy, you know? Feel like very active, yes. And they're so happy, even they just sell you a couple of cucumbers, they're so happy, happy. Yes. Because I also tell them, oh, it's a good job, you know, very good thing you're doing and I wish you luck and wish you continue your business well and I really like, you know, your lifestyle and the flea market. I love very much. Where are you going next? And they'll tell me the story of their life. And <laughs> over a cucumber, they'll tell me anything. <laughs> happy, happy. Uh, sometimes I also, I also buy this kind of thing, you know, in the flea market. Yeah. Oh, some fake earring stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anything you can buy there. Yeah. Mm. I buy some purses and to give it to the neighbor or, or taxi driver or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good idea. My God, you have so many choices now. Quit your job, go open a business. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. You do what you like, okay? But what I mean is, it's so exciting, yeah? 
If I don't have this job, I surely will open a, a, a daily corner or something. <laughs> oh, cafe. I love that. You know, serving people, talking to them, making them happy and change their life for better, you know, make them healthy. Oh, isn't that noble and nice and lovely to think even about it? Huh? Yes, I would have loved that job. Yeah. I uh, remember when I was a householder, a housewife, remember, I already teach in a college people to make a vegetarian. Yes. And I invite my neighbors every weekend for, you know, veggie food. And they all love it. I told you the story again and again because I love the story. And after I left, my husband continued the tradition. <laughs> Poor guy, he never cooked. But he got my recipe and he invited everybody and told them how nice veggie is. And my, my wife's recipe and everything. Oh, what a guy. Oh, how can I left him? How can I have left him? Yeah, crazy woman. Never mind. And because of you, crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes customers come into the loving hut to order takeaway and they're waiting a couple of minutes and they change their mind and they say, I'll, I'll have it here, I think, because I think they feel the atmosphere yes. and the energy and they, they don't want to leave. So it's better, yes, they yes, They love yes. it, yeah. Of course. One, of it, one lady came in and both her children, they're very young, but they never want to eat eggs. They chose it themselves. They don't want to eat eggs. Mm -hmm. So we gave all the recipes to the vegan cakes that we did. Oh. She was so happy. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. When you open a cafe shop or de deli or a vegan supply shop or um, what was it? A gro yeah, grocery or, or the or the car for the flea market. You always uh, print some recipes. It doesn't have to be expensive. Just copy it. Even black and white would do. As you, you just have all the the ingredients ready for them. Pick the favorite one and just copy some and give it for free for people to go home and try. Ah, I would love to do all this job. I really would. You know, because I love people so much. I love people outside, you know. When I see them, I just love them. <laughs> I don't know how. Just very simple. You know, when the people come to work at my house, I just love them all. <laughs> and when we go out eat together, you know, it's like I'm with a family. Truly like that. They're so, so friendly. So friendly. And I told you, you know, they came and repair things in my house and take care of, of every detail and think for me, you know. I have to say that they work even better than some of your brothers that came to do things in my house. They are not as detailed. Maybe they maybe they, they they do it lovingly, but not as good as these people because they really don't know who I am. They just really take care so much, <laughs> you know? Like uh, I never, you know, I don't have a phone there. If phone doesn't work in that place, it doesn't work. Just don't work. If you, I want to call, I have to go all the way to the big street. Yeah. So the guy come to me. He said, "Oh, you can have satellite phone. I look for it for you." And he installed everything. And he didn't want to take money. He worry. I think that he introduced so that he get money. I said, "No, no. I have to pay anyway. I must." <laughs> and I just pay him. But think about that, huh? Nobody ever worry about me that much. I said, never mind, I have a mobile phone. I can go out on the big street, you know, I have to walk long distance to the big street. In the mountain, it doesn't have reception. And so he said, I can go there and talk, it's no problem, you know. He said, no, no, but when if you're sick and you have emergency things and how you walk out on the street and when it rains or uh, when uh, you, you're unable to walk, or who knows, or maybe you fall down or something. My God, nobody have ever worried about me that much among you. <laughs> All of you come here just in master help, uh, bless me this and do me that and give me this, give me, give me, give me, give me all the time. Uh, this person, he was really nice. Understand? Mm. Yeah. So I just love them all, you know, even if they're not nice. I just feel the love for them. I just don't know where, just where from, just love, love. So I imagine if I do this kind of job, you know, the deli stuff or the grocery stuff or restaurant, I would have loved people to bet. I would dance around and tell them, eat that, eat this, it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure they would love me too, you know, because 
we wouldn't know each other, expect nothing from me except with some cookies and some noodles, you know. And then I'd be very, very happy to provide. And I probably would tell them jokes and, <laughs> and tell them that if they don't smoke, they will look younger and more sexy. And, <laughs> and if they eat this, they will look younger and healthier, you know. And, and I would give them tips how to uh, keep their husband, how to <laughs> be loving to their wives, uh, and lovey dovey talk and stuff, you know. And probably they would love me too, eh? I would have loved that. Instead, I waste all my time with you guys, and you, I don't know if you even practice what I told. Ah, no lovey dovey to wife, nada. Ah? <laughs> with the lousy ones, master. What? With the lousy ones. Yeah. <laughs> the outside people don't have to be told, we do. Yeah, I know, they're outside, they're nice. Okay, never mind. But you are nice also, you have different, different aspects. You see, you practice meditation, you go out and help people charitably. You treat animals nicely, you don't eat meat anymore, you see? You keep your moral standard high, the five precepts. You are good in different way. They are good emotional way. You are good morally also. Understand? Yes. Thank you. So sometimes like uh, so many people, they preach also and people cry and all that. But they don't change anything. They continue to eat meat, drink liquor, and smoke, and harm in their own lives. You see what I mean? Maybe I preach you don't cry, but you change your lives. Yeah, understand? And you change the lives of others. And you save many lives. Save their health because of your example. They go vegan, they save their health. And you save many animals from suffering. Do you understand me? So maybe you are not nice to me, but you are a nice person. Yes? Uh, and you, you are very nice in many different ways, and uh, highly elevated ways. Yes? I'm just saying I love outside people, but I love you even more. Don't, don't, make, don't misunderstand. <laughs> You know, it seems maybe I like outside people more, but it's not like that, because I don't live with them. You see, I don't have to take care of their emotional problem or anything or their lifestyle. But uh, with you, sometimes I have to scold you, because you have to go back to the right way, you know? You you go astray or you forgot or, you know, you s do not behave. Sometimes you behave less than uh, spiritual practitioners. So I have to remind you. So it seems like... I'm more strict to you than outside people, but it's not like that. You only educate your children. You don't educate your neighbor's children or <laughs> even the president's children. <laughs> is that right? Yeah? Oh, so that's what it is. Our relationship is different. Yeah, different. But I do love all people outside. I really love them so much. I don't know how to say it. Just love them. So if I imagine if I do the job that you do, you know, in love and hood or grocery or deli or whatever, I would have really loved those people who come, hmm? having money or not. Maybe it's not good that I do it, because I probably just give them free things <laughs> for free all the time, <laughs> just like the way we do here, and then I probably make no money at all after all, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> okay. I love you, Master. <laughs> 